The greatest thing about AI is the tasks that take us hours to do, AI can finish in minutes. For example, I hate going to the photo studio to take a new picture for LinkedIn. Vidnos eliminates all complexity from this. To create a high quality picture, profile picture, all I have to do is open a website and upload a photo of my face. Can be a previous headshot or a plain old selfie. You just have to have a clear front face. Then I need to choose whether I'm generating headshots for male or female and pick one of eight styles. Then I wait a few seconds and boom, here's my headshot. If needed, I can always go from one style to another and I must admit, it all looks pretty damn good. Especially this one with me in a blue suit. The only way to make it better would be to run it through an image upscaler. Reclaim AI is like a booster for Google Calendar. It's an AI-powered scheduling app that automatically finds the best time for your meetings, tasks, breaks and habits. It's not exactly a daily planner or a project manager, it's a tool that lets you create rules on how you want events and tasks to show up on your calendar. It's not replacing your calendar, but works on top of it, optimizing everything. One of its coolest features is smart meetings. Reclaim will automatically find the best time for you to meet with someone and adjust the schedule accordingly. Reclaim also lets you build up or maintain habits by adding them to your calendar automatically. For example, you often miss lunch. Reclaim will automatically add that to your schedule and move everything so that you stay productive and the lunch doesn't interfere with the overall workflow of the team. The same goes for tasks that Reclaim can add automatically to your schedule with appropriate timings. If you are a project manager or work with a team, adding Reclaim to your calendar can greatly speed up the process inside the team, streamlining the scheduling and making the work more convenient to everyone, eliminating all the stress from constant planning and rescheduling things. The next tool is called Perplexity, and it can totally change how you see the search and research. The tool itself looks like your typical chat, and once you click on the search bar, it would suggest you a few queries based on the latest news. You can ask simple questions such as what is the most cliche sentence with quantum in it or do complex scientific queries. And here is what separates perplexity from other AI research tools. It actually does the research compiling a list of sources and writes a coherent and logical response. And inside the response itself, it actually gives links to the sources where the information was taken from, making it super easy to fact check or quote. That is still not the best part. What makes perplexity truly special is its pro search. When you turn it on, AI becomes even smarter, understands questions better, and analyzes the sources even more deeply. But what's even more impressive is that that it will actually ask you clarifying questions in hopes of understanding what you are looking for. These clarifying questions are really helpful. They bridge the gap between you and AI, making perplexity sort of a continuation of your brain. Right now, we have sped up the research by about 20% easily, but that's still not the limit for perplexity because unlike other research tools, it has this thing called focus. Focus allows you to choose which data source the AI will use, whether it is academic academic papers, YouTube, or even Reddit. Also, if you purchase a subscription to Perplexity, you will be able to change the model it uses in the settings. Also, you will be able to upload images. And from what I found, Perplexity does a really fine job at understanding what's happening in each image, down to recognizing the schematics and graphs. Oh, it can also generate images, no biggie. Well, from Alpha is this amazing tool that's like the know-it-all, do-it-all for engineers, researchers, and even regular people with a relative relatively simple needs. It takes some time to get used to, but once you figure it out, you become almost almighty. For example, you don't have to type in the request like, please calculate this or explain anything. Just type in what you want to calculate and get an interactable form with a set of parameters that you can change manually and have AI do the math for you. With a subscription, you can even upload images to it and have it recognize text formulas and basically be your second brain with vision. Wolfram Alpha gives you everything it has each time. It doesn't hold off on any information. Like here, when working with an uploaded image, it not only recognizes the text, also shows you how the image can be transformed, which effects can be applied, and even studies the colors of that image. You don't even have to explain. It will do everything, and you can just pick what you want later. It's also amazing at working with tables and huge data sets. Wolfram will create graphs, plots, histograms, and many other things without you even asking for it. Can call 
calculate mortgage, uh, the orbital path of the Hubble telescope in 2001, and so much more. That's the best thing about it. Can do almost everything that has to do with data of any sort. I also found a tool that you can use pretty much for free that can significantly up your game when it comes to SEO articles. Neuron Write. To create an SEO optimized article, you need to first type in the main keyword that you want to be ranked by. After that, you can choose the target country and target language. Then you wait a little for AI to do its research. And once it finishes that, it will give you a list of competitors that will be used as a reference for creating your article. Each competitor has its Google rank, content score, the length of an article, and the title of the page along with the URL to that page. Then in the right menu, switch to AI writing and hit content designer. Then you need to once again confirm the main keyword you want to be ranked by and check out the suggested title and description for your text. You can also see how your snippet will look in Google results, which is quite helpful if you want to also optimize the title to be more visible. The next stage is creating the outline for your text. You can either accept the suggested one or add additional headers from the list. Then you just pick the output length of the article and wait. And here it is, a fully generated article with all the keywords from competitors. On the right side, there is a menu with statistics where you can see the score of the article and keywords used, along with the number of times it's used and in the articles of your competitors. To add the missing ones, you just scroll up and click auto insert. AI will give you a list of suggestions and how certain sentences can be rewritten to include the necessary keywords. Then you just accept the suggestions that you like. As I'm clicking, you can see in real time how my SEO score went from 58 to 67. Instead of spending half an hour in keyword research, then a couple hours in writing and optimizing, I've done it all in just five minutes tops. For regular copywriters, there's Quillbot. It's one of the best paraphrasing tools that I've tried so far. You can choose one of many styles, such as fluency, formal, academic, creative, and so on. There's also a slider for choosing how synonymous you want your paraphrased text to be. Then you just paste the text and hit one button. Each highlighted word can be replaced with another one from the list of suggestions. The next feature of Quillbot that saves a ton of time is Grammar Checker. You just paste the text or upload a file and AI shows you all your mistakes and how to fix them. Then there's also a built-in plagiarism checker. So by paying for one subscription, you can not only fix your articles, but also check them for plagiarism, which is quite handy. Quillbot can also summarize and translate, but that's not something that impresses nowadays. The best thing about Quillbot is that if you write in English, you can use most of its features for free without paying a dime. If you're a programmer, check out Codium. Most programmers unanimously agree that writing tests is the real mood breaker. Writing tests requires you to not only understand your own code, which let's all agree doesn't happen all the time, but also to predict every little exception that can happen. Codium was created to fix exactly that. And it can actually generate tests and offer logical suggestions. I'm not a programmer myself, so I hope you could forgive me if I make a mistake. It also identifies behaviors and potential errors in the original code that it might not handle. What is especially helpful and convenient is that each test can be conducted individually, and Codium would even fix the errors for you. I can already see how useful it can be to junior programmers who are just learning their ways. Sure, Codium has flaws and can still make mistakes when writing the test suites. Luckily, the developers thought about that and added a special feedback window for each test where you can write your suggestions and have AI rewrite the test the correct way. Another thing that you might like is that Codium can explain the code and provide detailed analysis, including the inputs, the flow, and the output. And the way it presents this analysis looks very similar to typical project documentation that you get at work. So there is a zero to none adjustment needed. And as I already said, Codium also gives you suggestions on how to improve through your code. Sometimes these recommendations can include something you never, you never thought about. Instead of writing a resume yourself, try Resi AI. Here, you just choose what document you want to create, whether you want to use a sample for it and whether you want to tailor it to a specific job. Then you go through a quick questionnaire where you paste a job description from a headhunting platform. AI then reads everything that's needed for the job and extracts keywords from it. Then you pick a field or domain for the job and tell AI about your personal experience. At this point, AI already knows what it should write in your resume, but it still needs some information from you, such as your name, surname, 
contact data, past experiences, and so on. Once you tell AI everything about yourself and choose the skills you already have, it will tailor your resume to the job you're applying to. It will take everything it knows about you and present it in a way that you would look like your perfect match for the job. If you were to do the same thing manually, it would take you a long time to not only read a job description, but to select the important parts of it that actually matter for the HR managers. AI, once again, saves lives and jobs. Product scope is the new best friend for everyone who sells stuff. If you're selling something on Amazon with just one click, you can take your boring listing with generic photos and create a new photo shoot that's fully customizable. AI will automatically remove background where needed and blend your product onto the background in a natural way. Creating such unique product photos takes only a couple minutes, but listing with better photos definitely leads to better conversions. Product scope can also optimize your listings, making them better. You just paste an ASIN number, choose the type of keywords you want to get in, hit one button. AI then does all the research and generates a ton of keywords to use in your listing for improving its reach. No need to do the research yourself, just trust AI and copy paste everything into your listing. Product Scope also writes a custom optimized title for your product that you can rewrite at any moment in just one click. AI does a really good job at this. Product Scope can also generate bullet point descriptions of your product and a general, more lyrical description along with search terms and subject matter fields. Basically, it's a one-step solution for taking your Amazon listings to the next level. No need to spend your personal time on anything. AI will do it for you. So if anyone ever says to you that AI can't do anything good for us, show them this video. AI is not a toy anymore, it's a tool. A tool that can make you more powerful, more capable, and much, much more productive. In this video, I haven't included any tools for musicians or video creators. We have a couple of separate videos about such tools right here on the channel. Be sure to check them out. Thanks for watching and see you soon.